What is up? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Shred Show Live. I've got two handsome gentlemen joining me this morning, and we're talking about something that you do not want to miss on. We're talking about our heroes, those who have served so valiantly, so heroically, so bravely has served our country, and we get to help them. We get to give back just a little bit. I'm joined by Brian Berchance and Jeff Wilson of Caliber Home Loans. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about our country's heroes. You are not going to want to miss this morning's episode. It's time to shred. What up, what up, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us this morning. I am joined by one and only Brian Berjans and Jeff Wilson of Caliber Home Loans. And guys, you know what? Here's what I'm excited to talk about. You know, veterans are one of those one of those audiences, one of those communities that me personally, as an originator, I love when a veteran called me and said, hey, Josh, I want to use my VA home loan uh, benefits. Where do I get started? How do I use these? We're going to be talking a lot about some myths today. We're going to talk about how Caliber is so different. But before we get into all of that, I want to talk about each of you individually. Introduce yourself. Brian Bergdance, I've had you on the show before. You are truly looked at as one of the absolute, I mean, experts when it comes to VA lending. Plus, I mean, you understand the VA community. You've been there. You've done it. You've been in the trenches. So for those who don't know you, tell a little bit about yourself. Well, first, I want to say that intro was amazing. <laughs> and I need, to, I need to get with your people because I want that intro every time I speak. That there was you go. Uh, well, thanks for the kind words. Uh, you know. Um, so I've been in mortgage since 2002 and I've been in the Navy since 95. Um, it's like, you know, the two of, that's all I've known my whole life is both the Navy and the military. I mean, the military and mortgage, uh, which is crazy because you would think I'd be bald by now, uh, sure. as stressful as both of them are. Um, you know, one thing I'll have to take back, I, I don't look at myself as a subject matter expert in military and vet, you know, veteran lending. I just look at myself as a practitioner because I feel that we're never experts. We're, you know, always learning and sure. we got to continuously learn because the VA world is such a, you know, it's ebbs and flows and things change. So, uh, you know, I, me um, personally though, I always think you always just got to continuously hire, uh, you know, the people smarter than you and brings people smarter than you on your team. And that's why we brought Jeff Wilson to Calibers because I don't know everything and he was my guy. So before he came to Caliber, he was somebody that I leaned on to be my voice of reason from VA as we were navigating, you know, uh, our platforms and, you know, the challenges that our military and veterans face trying to obtain home loans. He was always a good sounding board for me uh, as we navigated it. We make sure we were putting as many people as possible in homes if they earn the benefit. So, um, you know, so for me, I'm extremely proud and honored to have, you know, someone like Jeff on, on our team because guys like him, there's not very many of them. I call him a unicorn. I don't know if he <laughs> likes that or not, but I call him a unicorn. Uh, and we're, and it's absolutely an honor and a privilege to, uh, to have someone like his caliber, no pun intended with caliber. Well, let's get like Jeff. I mean, Jeff, the unicorn, let's go right with that. I think that's the new nickname. I think we found it there, Jeff, but no, you are the, the VP of military, uh, MVA lending at caliber. And again, I, I, I want to echo what Brian has said. You're one of those, you're extremely knowledgeable and you're really there to help originators when it comes to that VA process. So for those who don't know you and your background, show a little about yourself. Well, thanks a lot, Josh, for having us on here. And, and I really appreciate the opportunity to talk to everybody that we can talk to about the Caliber VA home loan process, because we do have a great team here. We are killing it and we're getting it knocked out for our veterans. But a little about me, um, I'm a retired Army major. Uh, I did 21 and a half years. So like Brian, I, I've got the military service going down. Uh, Brian's catching up. He's actually promotable. I'm going to throw that out for you, Brian. Wow. Uh, congrats, so Brian. He's going to get to his 04 here pretty quick if he hasn't pinned it on already. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my my time was active and reserved like Brian's. And so I, I kind of rolled over into the to the uh, mortgage market way back in 1988. I think Brian was still in high school. But, <laughs> I, was in, I was in grade school. But <laughs> in grade school. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm an old unicorn. 
Uh, but anyway, I, I, uh, I joined the, the mortgage industry as a loan officer way back in 1988. My actually, my very first loan that I ever did as a loan officer, I was actually doing it for a veteran. It was, it was, uh, it was pretty interesting. And um, so I worked, you know, really focusing on VA loans my whole career. But then I joined VA because yeah, the market kind of stunk back then. Uh, so in 1990, I joined VA. Uh, and I worked my way up uh, from being a, a, a loan assistant all the way to the loan guarantee officer. Uh, but it took me 27 years. I mean, hey, come on, I'm not that, I'm not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it, it was a slow time. It was a, it was a great time working for VA. I've done everything that you possibly can. I've worked in Washington on policy, written regulations, written policy. I've I've uh, run VA regional offices. Um, I finally uh, I, I culminated my great career with VA as the loan production officer for several years in Phoenix, and then as the loan guarantee officer hmm. in charge of of uh, the Southwest U.S. And it was just really a, an awesome experience helping veterans. But um, you know, I'd, I'd pretty much done everything I'd wanted to do. I reached my culmination. I got to my goals, and like a good military guy, I, you know, I set my goals high, I reached them and it's time to move on and set new goals. So my new goal was how do I get out of veterans more directly? Uh, I went into industry, went back to industry uh, and took the knowledge that I gained for, you know, years and years and years of, of working for VA. Uh, and I took that knowledge and I'm now out back in industry. I'm helping Brian and his team at nice. Caliber just, to, you know, build on our, on our, current policies, build on our current operations and make it even bigger. You know, our goal is to 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 be the number one. We want to be out there and be veterans number one choice for for uh, veteran home lending. And I love that. And that, that kind of segues perfectly in what I want to start going into is you guys are doing things differently. And first and foremost, I want to highlight this. Thank you both for your service. I think that really separates you guys in itself. And having that both of you are veterans, you have served our country, you understand what our veterans are going through mentally. Like we all talk about that and, and some of the things that veterans suffer from. And there's little ways that we can serve the community. And that's where Caliber is making a difference within that veteran community. You guys are providing opportunities, you're providing options and you're you're educating them and that's what's so exciting for me is that you are educating them so brian let's talk about this you guys do have some different when it comes to helping originators in particular your guys's va loan program is really by far and away from what i've seen again being somebody who has done so many va loans in the past and been able to help veterans your guys's va loan program continues to evolve continues to get better and better and better and simplify that process for not only originators but also for the veteran yeah i think uh you know, we kind of took the position of education, uh, community engagement through education as our policy and our way forward back in 2016, uh, when we launched our very, when we launched the military lending group, uh, you know, as a whole, right? And, uh, you know, one thing we've always looked at is there's a big education gap, right between perception and reality uh not only just mortgage professionals but realtors and even worse the consumer so we've taken the same position uh you know in our wholesale group too as well because now we're like hey listen we we want to be a resource an educational resource for all our broker partners out there because uh you know they unfortunately too sometimes can feel like they're on Rebus island and they don't have the resources uh, as of like a military lending team to be able to refer to all the time. So we decided to create this, this platform, uh, uh, this education platform and resource platform for those partners. So they feel like, hey, listen, I have my own team. That's us. We're an extended family. Come use us. Because at the end of the day, like Jeff and I always agree to this that there's a veteran on the other end or a military member on the other end of this transaction. And our ultimate goal is to ensure that that person has all the information that they need to make a, uh, you know, responsible decision on home ownership. But then also too, if they're entitled to this benefit, that they are able to use it. Right. Mm -hmm. So if we can close the gap on knowledge and put more vets and military members in homes, you know, we all win. Right. So we all win. 
So absolutely. And I want to go, I want to kind of dive into this a little bit deeper because Jeff, something that I experienced as, you know, as an originator, as a broker in the past was getting the certificate of eligibility. That is something that we've all struggled with. Anybody who's ever done a VA loan, we know how challenging that can be. And you guys have kind of come out with a unique proposition, kind of a unique help, if you will. If it comes, if, if you're an originator and you're struggling with that, or you don't even know where to start with that, you guys and your team can actually help with the certificate of eligibility, right? Absolutely, Josh. I mean, we've got two teams set up. We've got two teams in our in our operations set up to help our originators and help our brokers get VA certificates of eligibility. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's usually a fairly simple, straightforward job now. You know, VA just asks for a couple pieces of information. They need a, a birth date and a and a, uh, a social security number, and that'll issue. But if it doesn't, that's where the problems run into, and that's where our team of experts have done thousands and thousands and thousands of COEs over the last few years, and they can knock out a COE um, in, in a very short time. In fact, um, we had one case where we had uh, the, the originator was having one heck of a time. It's days and days trying to get a certificate of eligibility. They contacted us. We had it within three hours. Holy cow. Hey, you know, uh, so one, one quick thing they did, they uh, 90, 100 certificates of eligibility they assisted with in 2020. No way. Yeah. Dude, wow. that's, they're, they're killing it because, you know, like you said, there's a problem in some cases getting a COE. And usually it's National Guard Reserve or it's older active duty that, that doesn't have the information that they need. And our team is set up to, to, to really navigate those waters and actually get through that process and narrow it down. And we know who to contact if we have a problem getting that COE. And it's, you know, if, if it rolls all the way up to me getting the COE, it can usually be done within a half an hour of me getting a hold of it. Uh, it you know, obviously they're gonna run through their process first, but you know, I can pull a string here and there and and try and get somebody to look at something real quick. Well, see, and that and that's what the difference is, is because you guys have been, and Jeff, your experience and, you know, working with the, the, the VA in the past, you're able to understand not only the process, but what needs to happen to get that, to get that COE done. To, I mean, again, sometimes we look at it as such a daunting task ahead of us, but now having, uh, Brian, I love how you said this, an extended team, an extended part of our family that's part of Caliber. And you guys are there to help with that. And again, I know every every originator out there who is you know serving our veterans, this is such a valuable resource to all of you. Everybody should be taking advantage of this. And again, this is something that just Caliber offers. This is part of what you guys offer for that veterans program. And I want to switch gears just a tiny bit. We can come back to this in a second, but but you can see behind you, Brian, you can see these coins. And I forget, now, I, now of course, I'm going to forget what they're called. Uh, your challenge coins, right? Challenge yeah. coins. Yeah. Yeah. I got back to it. Uh, okay. So your challenge coins, you guys actually give a challenge coin. When somebody completes a VA loan, your veterans get a challenge coin. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, any veteran who does a loan with Caliber Home Loans, period gets a challenge coin. Uh, so regardless of if it's the VA, conventional FHA, there are some situations very rarely that a vet uh, gets some other program, but we do send a challenge coin right after closing. It takes about uh, 14, 14 days from funding to delivery, but they get this awesome postcard in the mail, thanking them for their service uh, and a custom challenge coin that is by far one of the best ones uh, ever made. Uh, mm. and, uh, we get tons of positive feedback from the consumer. And when we do, that's another thing too. When we do get, uh, feedback back from the consumer on the challenge coin, we do send that testimonial back out to the, uh, business partner mm. so that they have it so they can see it because a lot of people don't understand the impact of a challenge coin. Uh, you know, if you haven't served, you know, the folks that have served, you know, they know because they can tell you where they got theirs, when they got theirs, who gave it to them and why they got it. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think it's such a great, you know, thing for us is most of the feedback we get is folks say, you know, you guys get it. You guys get it. It's the little things that, you know, that make it, you know, a culture of understanding the military and veteran demographic and challenge points is one of them. 
Oh, see, and I love that. And that's that's just one more reason that Caliber's got your six. I'm wearing my Caliber shirt today. I've got the, we got your six shirt on, but that's just one more way. And actually, Trent Best, great comment. Trent, we're actually going to get to your question here in just a sec. I'm seeing some sellers not taking offer from BBA yeah. buyers. That's really frustrating. Trent, we're going to come back to that here in just a sec. But I want to, kind of our entire theme here, gentlemen, is talking about how Caliber is truly trying to educate not only the v, not only veterans but the originator the broker community understanding the process understanding what it takes to get a, a, a veteran borrower from point a to point z from application to closing and jeff one of the exciting things that you guys just came out with is you guys are actually kind of come out with this lunch and learn program something that we need to do better as a community as a whole especially as a lending community is educating those borrowers, educating our originators so you guys have released basically one hour sessions it's kind of like a lunch and learn. You don't have to spend hours upon hours going to a VA course. You guys are actually doing a new session that you can come and you can actually get educated on VA on VA benefits and VA loan programs. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, Josh, it's it's a new program we we started up. It's called What You Need to Know About VA Loans Over Lunch. Hmm. Super simple. It's something that we can get back to our originators, and it's a short little segment, an hour or less. Um, I just did one the other day. It was. 50 minutes. You know, I gave back 10 minutes and they can take that information and they can go talk with their realtor partners. They can go talk with their customers and explain the realities of VA and get past the myth that, um, you know, to Trent's idea there, you know, he's having problems with sellers who are actually walking away from VA offers because they've got these myths. Their, their realtors are telling them, oh, don't go with the VA offer because, you know, it's going to cost you too much money. You're going to have money out of pocket or the VA process way too slow, or you know the, the values never come in on time and they, they're always late or they're never up to the value. All these myths that just really aren't true. And it really is frustrating because a VA loan done properly by someone who knows what they're doing should be able to compete with any cash buyer out there. I mean, literally cash buyers. If you structure your loan properly, if you talk to your, your buyer and say, look, you know, you can get the lowest loan possible, you know, the lowest cost possible, but you may have to try and get your seller to do that. But if you're willing to accept a little bit higher cost, we can cover everything and you don't have money out of pocket. Um, but it's, 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 a, it's a negotiation. It always is a negotiation. You have to show them both sides. And that way they can go into that purchase offer with an offer that says, hey, I want to buy your house for X. And you're not going to have to pay any closing costs. And it's it's just such a, a, a difference when you get somebody who knows what they're doing. And that's what we're trying to do through our, you know, what you need to know about VA loans over lunch segments is teach them these, these tools and teach them these tips so that they can go out and talk to their realtors and say, hey, look, this is true. You're not, this is our offer. If you've got a cash offer that's better than that, you tell me because I doubt you're going to find it. Well, see, and I think that's just it, Jeff and Brian, is sometimes, and even though we've been talking about this, uh, you know, for years, it seems like with veterans and the VA programs, even the originator, the broker community, the, the retail community, they just don't understand the myths and how to overcome those those questions, how to overcome those challenges when it comes to VA loans. And that's why I think this series, this Lunch and Learn series is so important. And again, you're not having to spend hours upon hours. You're able to go in one hour on your lunch, and it's a quick opportunity to learn, to educate, to become better yourselves so that and in turn, you can go educate, like you said, Jeff, your real estate agents, even your VA powers, Ed Polanco, I believe you just commented on here, who's a veteran as well. I need to do this. Again, even veterans don't know what possibilities and options are out there. So we have that opportunity. We, as originators, as originator community, we have the opportunity to learn ourselves and then go and, and serve. These people gave some, have given everything for us. They are heroes and we need to do our part to help them when it comes to achieving the dream of homeownership in this country. So, so I'm getting myself, I'm get, I get passionate about it. And Brian, I know you do too, because uh, you well, this today. well, one of the things that I, I hope that this kind of sparks is I think as an industry, uh, you know, no one has hundred percent market share. So sure. I think we have to, you know, take a step back and go, are we really all competing with each other? No, no one's competing. Okay. We would be better off collaborating with each other as an industry to ensure that as many veterans and military members experience the dream of home ownership as humanly possible. 
We have a epidemic, unfortunately, nationwide of unconscious bias in the realtor community for some weird reason. And it must be from years and years and years of the old guard passing on information to the new guard. They feel that VA customers, because it's a government backed program, are subprime clients. And I can tell you, and a lot of the information that Jeff will be passing along in our education series is also taking a deep dive into what the actual VA client looks like today. Because when I spoke, uh, you know, before the pandemic, when I used to travel, I spoke to thousands and thousands of realtors. And one of the key things that I always started off our conversation with is what does the VA customer look like today? And I can tell you that's when you can hear a pin drop because when they see that the VA client has very high 700 credit score at, on average, right? Uh, high reserves, high income. They're looking at it like, oh my God, that's a prime customer. Yeah, exactly. The military client and the veteran client has changed significantly over the last 20 years. I think a lot of it has to, me and Jeff could probably debate on this, but uh, I think a lot of it has to do with post 9-11 you know, secret clearances, background checks, all the stuff that goes into uh, maintaining your ability to continue to serve where you can't have bad debt anymore. You can't foreclose, you can't file bankruptcy, a divorce will kill you in more ways than one, right? So they have to manage their money. Financial management is increasingly important for them to maintain their ability to serve. That changes the habits, behaviors, and FICO scores, obviously, to what you have today. Now you have a customer who has, who looks like your prime client, who could buy whatever they want, typically using whatever form of financing that they want. But unfortunately you have a group of folks and it's a blind leading the blind telling, you know, sellers, Hey, listen, you don't want to take a VA contract. It's a government contract. And I'm sure this customer has bad credit. Well, that's not the case. That's not the case today. And we need to overcome that. And the only way we can, is to educate and pay it forward, mm. period, hands down. That's and, it. And that's, it's so powerful because it is, it's so sad and it, it really does. And I know probably you, you both more than anything to hear these preconceived ideas and these notions of, oh, VA borrowers aren't as qualified as anybody else. It's just, it's frustrating. And it's sad being that though these veterans have served our country and there, there are, a group of individuals who think they're not as qualified. So we have to do our part. And again, that's why I'm so excited to see what Caliber is doing, what Jeff, you and your team are doing. It's just, we need more education. We need more conversations like this. And Brian, I love what you said. We need to unite about this. We need to come together and collaborate. It's not, again, it's not a competition here. We need to work together. We need to have these discussions. So as a whole, as an industry, we can ultimately serve those veterans and those who are trying to buy a home and use those VA benefits. So well, I'd like to add here too, Jeff, yeah. we talked a little bit about the caliber difference. Yes. And, and besides the fact of having a Jeff Wilson, a caliber, which is a huge difference than, than other companies. I think our process, when we, the resource boxes that we were talking about before with the COE, yeah. but just, scenario resource box that we have set up for our partners all encompasses any question they could possibly have about military and veteran lending they need to send that and that human being right here that's i think when you look at this little little three-way thing here he's to the left of me uh he's the one that's answering all your questions so you have a 27 year veteran from the va who I think Jeff, your last year as the RLC LGO did 160,000 VA transactions. Yes. Okay. So you have that as the person that you're bouncing your scenario off of, which I'm sorry, you can't get that anywhere else. You can't even get that in an RLC right now. Dang. Uh, telling you basically two things. Number one, what the VA guide is on your scenario. Okay. We've committed to two things. One that we were always going to give you the honest and, and, and feedback from the VA from what the, you know, basically what the handbook translates to your scenario. And then our follow-up is does caliber, you know, have any overlays? Do we not have any overlays and how that impacts your transaction here? Because what we want to do is say, Hey, even if we can't do it because we have stuff that prevent it because of our appetite for maybe that scenario doesn't mean you can't go somewhere else who has more flexible stuff or just wants that type of a client to there, because I think we have to be open and honest and transparent about VA, right? Yep. And while we might lose a transaction here and there, the bet wins because the broker's empowered 
to know that, hey, there's someone out there that can do this. I just need to find them. Well, and that's kind of what I want to end on with Jeff as we as we wrap this up is this this caliber care and and being able to give them, hey, here are the actual VA guidelines. This is it. Like this is actually what is coming from the VA. And then yes or no, we can do it for you. Or if we can't do it for you, we're going to point you in the right direction. Jeff, yeah. this is just so unique. And like Brian said, you may lose a deal here or there, but ultimately you guys are in it. This is this is you guys are here for the veteran. So as we wrap this up, Jeff, kind of your thoughts on this on this opportunity for those who are using caliber for those VA loans. Well, I think one of the one of the biggest things, Josh, is that right now, um, like for this morning, you know, it's I'm it's it's almost ten o'clock here in Phoenix where I live. Um, you know, I've spent virtually this whole morning working cases where there have been little problems, little hiccups, and how to get past those so that we can get long get our get our veterans and home loans and get them closed. And that's what I do for our for our customers, for our partners, is work on getting through all of the flack and getting down to the nitty gritty. What do we really need to get this loan closed? And I think that that's different than you might find at pretty much any other lender because we have this military veteran uh, lending team and we have people like me who have you know years and years and years of experience. We have people like Brian with the passion and he's been doing VA loans, he's been lending for years. Um, and we've put this great team together for our partners so that they can utilize that asset and yeah, like Brian said, we might miss a loan here or there because we might have some overlay that that they can get by with with somebody else. But by and large, the vast majority of our customers will get a better process through Caliber because they're actually getting a team that's working for them and with them to help get their customers in their loans. Yes, every loan has little in, in, inadequacies. Every loan has their own little idiosyncrasies. But if you can get past those into the nitty gritty, what's really needed, then you're golden and you're not running a, a you know, a mouse in a, in a treadmill, uh, you know, going the same place over and over and over again. I love, it. and that's the caliber difference. That's it. That encapsulates it all. That's exactly what we, we've been talking about this entire time. Brian and Jeff, I cannot thank you guys enough for joining me on today's episode, for sharing, for breaking some of those myths. And Jeff, I want to, if, if people want to sign up for these lunch and learns, if they want to attend these, what's the best way that they can attend? Uh, one of the, one of the big ones right now is if they're a broker partner, they can actually ask us and I will give them one directly. Awesome. But the other way is on our calendar, uh, in our training calendars, you'll be able to see when our next broadcast is. And then also, we're also, uh, feeding these directly to our broker partners, uh, in actually push, push information so that they get notification when we're having our next one. So if they're a signed up broker and they're and they're following the emails that we're sending, um, you know, if you read the actual email and not just can it as uh, another sales pitch, you're going to get notifications from us when those when those meetings are when those uh, training right. Awesome. Brokers, keep your eyes open. Don't miss those. You don't want to, don't just spam that one. Don't just delete it. You want to make sure that you're, you're looking into those. Cause again, that's these lunch and learns are all about giving you an hour of just jam packed, helping you overcome myths, helping you actually understand guidelines, helping you understand how you can help our veteran community. So Brian and Jeff, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us on this show. This is just touching the tip of the iceberg, how caliber is different and how they are serving our veteran community. So huge shout out to these incredible veterans and huge shout out to all you guys are doing at caliber to really make a difference ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining us on this morning's shred show i guarantee you whether you're a veteran whether you're an originator or broker serving that community you need to get in touch with caliber so you can continue to get educated and know how to best serve that community with that ladies and gentlemen we appreciate you we love you huge shout out to all of our veterans and now it's time for all of you to go show up hustle repeat every day see you guys Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you again so much for joining us for today's show. If you like the content, make sure you hit that like button below. And if you already haven't subscribed to our channel, click right over here and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you wanna see our latest video, click over here. And again, if you wanna see the best of the best of daily content within the mortgage and real estate industries, you have to subscribe now. We look forward to having you shred with us every single day.